So you have to go up that ladder. I was looking for more jesters. <laughs> Next Nike will be like, stop jester hate. Because <laughs> you like beat up jesters. But I'll never stop jester hate. <laughs> I'll encourage it. Okay, so now you have to hop on this horse. Right, no, on, Ezio ra hopped on the other horse, not full sync. Yeah, I'm surprised it wasn't. <laughs> Okay. So I'm assuming that you couldn't have beaten this guy up to this point. I don't right? think so, no. I think these games want you to like randomly run through the jeez en entire sequence. What's weird is it wasn't letting me uh, go. <laughs> Stop being racist. That's not racist. That's what he said. Okay. How does he automatically trigger these garage doors? He has like <laughs> the most. <laughs> Universal garage door opener of all time here. <laughs> Left. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, hey, I can do it too. Oh. I like. It. Okay. Da 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 da. Oh, can you assassinate da, him? Da, da, da. Oh, no. Wait, what? It didn't <laughs> let me. The, you're getting too close to assassinating him, so the game like forced you to stop. <laughs> like what the heck? You're supposed to fight these guards first. Well, also, what happened to this guy now? He's, like, not here. Uh, like, I don't know. what is going on? Alright, now let's insta-kill this guy. Nice. Pick up the treasure. I think I killed him, actually, already. I think that's him. When did you kill this guy? When I <laughs> like, I didn't see him. I anything. swung my sword when okay. I came in the room. <laughs> Alright. Eight? What kind of a, who puts eight florins in a box? No, this guy. Oh, this guy only had eight florins? Why do we waste our time with this well, poor You're not going to rest in peace. Rest up here. On rock. Yeah, stop being poor. Idiot. I, I hate poor people. So does uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh community and creators, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so who do you is think... Is the most racist person I know. <laughs> well, I can answer that. You. Are they going to be like, well, of course I know him. He's... He is me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what are you going to ask I was going to say, who do you think is the best Yu-Gi-Oh! anime antagonist? Would you say Yugi? Antagonist. Or an, uh, uh, protagonist, I mean. Either Yugi or Yusei. Yeah. Probably Yugi. Why wouldn't it be Yugi? I thought you were going to say uh, Jaden. No. Well, you don't no. like Jaden. He's good in the manga. I mean, I, th I think Jaden is kind of cool in general, but my only experience really with Jaden is, at least in the movie, the uh, Bonds Beyond Time movie. Why does this keep cutting out? I don't know. And I guess I've seen like a couple episodes of GX, which I liked, but... Yeah, GX is fine. It um, it had a really good manga. What's weird about those, those movies, it, or the show... Yeah. Is that it's not it's not like I just hate the show, I just hate censorship. And right. I, I love censorship. I find most of the stuff that they removed to have been necessary for the story and the world building and stuff, and it established like more realism, believe it or not, in that world, and by taking all that stuff out, I think they really hurt the believability and enjoyability of those anime, but the manga didn't do that. That's what's weird. Like, there's literally blood in the American manga. Yeah. And, like, all kinds of graphic stuff. So, like, I don't understand why the manga was, like, treated with respect. I'm gonna have to clear more room on the computer. I apologize <laughs> for this, like, cutting out every two seconds. I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna be done soon anyway. Um, but then the anime wasn't treated that way, you know? Right. Well, what I don't get is, um, okay, the first council has ended. Our problem is clear. Okay. Our response undetermined. Oh. Caesar moves away from the Senate, placing his trust in foreign rulers, adopting the ego and pomp of his Egyptian whore. Oh, are they what talking the about... Uh, Cleopatra. Yeah. He refuses to rise when he addresses us and scoffs at our concerns. He has created his own private Senate filled with deceivers, manipulators, people who have no business in Roman affairs. My brothers are eager for blood, but I am not certain I can spill it. Okay. Is this by Brutus? Do you think Brutus wrote that? Probably, because we are getting the armor of Brutus. Yeah! At two Brute. This is kind of cool, actually. Yeah, it is. This is awesome. Yeah, I like murder. <laughs> it's based. 
So yeah, what I don't get is, like in Yu-Gi-Oh! the show, the American version, some of the stuff that is censored is not, I want to say really necessary, but it's stuff that's like, without it, it just becomes stupid. Like, for example, in um, that one episode with like, do you remember that like, dumb jester guy that was underground? Yes, and he had, he had saw blades. Yes! It's like, okay. <laughs> and and they, they censored it, so for people who don't know, this episode was originally like, if Yugi lost, his legs would be sawed off. Yeah. It was literally like a jigsaw trap. <laughs> right. But then in the uh, in the censored version, they were shadow discs. Right. And they would send his soul to the shadow realm. Yeah, it's like, you know, I don't think the episode is necessarily like an awful episode now, but at the same time, it's like, why censor that? Like, do you think American kids are stupid and somehow Japanese kids are like can handle yes. this? That is what they think. Yeah, I don't get this. It's like, what's the point? Well, and and really, I I genuinely, I actually disagree with you. I do think that makes it stupid, and the reason for that is because there's a thing in, in media and fiction, and even nonfiction. This is even something you see in sports. It's why people get invested, and it's called stakes. And you know about right, it, right? Right. But what I mean by that is something is at stake. Mm -hmm. They remove most of the stakes in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because no death is permanent, nobody dies, everyone can be brought back, even characters that died in the original can be, like, resurrected. Because they're just sent to the Shadow Realm and they don't actually die. Right. And that removes any sense of, of drama, any stakes, any kind of reason to tune in and care. Because what it comes down to is, oh, well, no matter what happens, everything will be fine. Mm-hmm. Because this person can just be brought back. And when you have that, that's not a good thing. Like, even things like Supernatural, where there's lots of resurrection, there are people that stay dead. Mm -hmm. There are reasons why some characters can't be brought back or aren't, you know? And when you start messing with that and permanently negate it, like, you just make it so that it doesn't matter at all... Yeah, maybe it's four kids or whatever. Nice reference there. But they know that there's nothing to be worried about. You know what I mean? Right. And it's just odd to me how people can make that mistake when writing fiction and not understand. Like, why do people tune into sports games other than enjoying the sport and enjoying competition? It's because there's something at risk. Their, uh, their city or state's pride in that sports team the hard work that they've watched these players put in and that they respect. You know, like mm -hmm. say you're say you're the biggest fan of of um, LeBron ever and you've watched his career from the beginning and you really like the work he put in and um, you know, his his abilities and stuff. Well, that's at risk, like those performances and you know, they don't get to the playoffs and they make less money and blah 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 blah. You know, maybe it doesn't all matter that much. Mm -hmm. But it matters to the people who care. It's, it's just, something to turn on the game. Right, and it's the same thing with video games. Like, imagine we played this game and you just had infinite health. Right. It's like no, Nothing is at risk at all. There's no point to be worried. Like, there would be no, no tension when you get in a fight with people. There would be no... Um, like, yes, you can respawn and stuff, but you lose a little bit of progress. There's always something at stake. Right. Um, or well, even and just also, not being able to beat the game. And also, there's then no reward when it happens to you, too. Like, if we had infinite health and we just beat the game, it'd be like, whatever. Right, yeah. I just cares. beat the game, fine. Yeah. Well, and you see that in movies, too. Like, I, I'm i thinking of the... Uh, is that a woman? Nope. Okay, we're moving on. I'm thinking of the uh, Family Guy uh, Star Wars movie that they did. They kind of poke fun at this, where... In episode, oh, I think it was the episode five one, or maybe the episode four one, but uh, Leia, who's Lois, is like freaking out about the Tie Fighters following them, and Han's like, Han says something like, "We have four or five of the main characters on this ship. We'll be fine." Yeah, <laughs> it's like movies do this too, where it's whenever you have like the main characters on something, you just know like, okay, they're probably fine. Right, exactly. And that, 
Yeah, I genuinely think that's a problem because uh, you, you set yourself up for no stakes, no reason to tune in, no reason to... I, I'm not saying you have to be worried. Like, I'm right. not saying you should turn on Sesame Street and be worried that, like, <laughs> Grover's going to get, like, JFK'd or something. Right. But when you're trying to get adults and teenagers into your stuff as well, there needs to be a reason for them to get invested and stay invested and stakes is one of those reasons so once you remove those completely you hit a point where it's like okay well i could watch anything else like full metal alchemist there are characters that die right and they do not come back by the way mm -hmm. there are relationships that are ended because of that where like edward one, like, one of the main characters is like friends with someone and they get killed and that impacts him and they're gone from the show yeah those things matter and they they help establish the believability of the world, the human emotions of the characters. They help draw you in and make you want to keep coming back and be like, oh man, what's going to happen this week? Like, is are Ed and Al going to like be able to do this thing? Are they not? Like, mm -hmm. you know, is this character going to make it? As yeah, much Final as, Fantasy VII did that too. Yep, Final Fantasy. Well, the Final Fantasy games are great with it, just in general. And uh, another main characters die sometimes. Yeah, main characters do die in Final Fantasy. And, like, another example of that, too... Um, see if you can see who this is, by the way, before I move on. It's a man. Okay, moving on. Are there any more women in the game, or no? Apparently the game gives you, like, two women. Um, I guess what I'm getting at with that is, once you remove all of that, why care? Yeah. It's the same thing, like, what you said about Yu-Gi-Oh!, where you were like, you know that your deck will become obsolete, why care? Well, it's like, well, you know everyone will be fine. So, like, why so care? So, why care? Right. Uh, it's just, it's a mistake that a lot of things make. I know Sailor Moon doesn't do that. That's something Jill's talked about before, about how they're willing to um, kill off characters. And, and Even at the end of the first season, shit gets real crazy. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, s there are things that happen that you wouldn't expect to happen, and then the next season, things happen in the beginning that, like, change certain things that make it... It's hard to explain without, like, spoiling it all, but it's very um, shocking, if that makes sense. I remember near the end of season 10 of Supernatural, they kill off a main character that had been in the show for years. Yeah. And that character never comes back. And it's a big deal. Like, it's a big character motivator thing. It's a big problem that actually affects the narrative of the show pretty heavily. Mm -hmm. And it's something that was extremely unexpected by the viewers. Now, I was going to say, too, like, I give Game of Thrones a little bit of a hard time because I've just never cared that much, which, that's just on me. I'm not saying it's bad. I just don't care that much about Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. But something that it did do right that I remember... Do you want to do the Lair of Promulus down there? Yeah, I didn't know if you were tired of... If you needed to leave. Oh, we can do this, Lair, and then I'll leave. Can I... Are we kicking NATO? Could I do these two on the way real No. Um, well, it's probably good that we're ending soon anyway, because I don't know if the footage will cut out. Yeah. Um, it's it's one of those things where they got people to come back every week because other than I guess this this isn't a spoiler alert because everyone knows the meme of Jon Snow surviving everything. Other than Jon Snow, who I think makes it to the end of the show, if I remember correctly. I wouldn't be able to tell you. <laughs> and everyone loved him. He's like a fan favorite. Everyone was always worried about, is this character going to die this week? Like, how will they get out of here? And characters did die. Mm -hmm. And it was always a big thing that people were, like, interested in of, like, these characters are not impervious to damage. Like, they can be killed. And that can affect the narrative in a different way, where now it's more about the country and and the wars going on in this area than it is just about Jon Snow or uh, Daenerys, I think is her name, the mother of dragons, the Amelia Clark's character mm -hmm. who shows her, her boobies. And all, you know, it's, it's about more than just that stuff. It's also about... Um... <laughs> okay, you got clothesline. Can you call your assassin to attack this person? Come on. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Dang. Nice. Okay, I'm glad we got assassins. Wait, and then he stole the horse. Do you see that? <laughs> what an epic gamer moment. <laughs> like, He's going to head off to reenact that Law & Order SVU bathroom scene now. Epic. That's what I call a pro gamer move. I want. I just want to search the body. Just let me... Okay. 
Well, that was rude. What do I like? I don't even know what I was gonna say. Well, this guy's gonna like point blank me. Why can't I kill him? What is that guy doing? Like throwing knives? I don't know, and I can't see. <laughs> like what? Are yeah, they... I need help. What's with these camera Can angles? My assassins help, please. No. Actually, that one just did. <laughs> I know. I called them back in. I like how you can't do anything, so you need your assassin recruits to help you. Wait, you're oh, hitting your sorry, own! Sorry, sorry! You're hitting your woman! Sorry. Wait, your assassin's recruit health is low. Oh, no. Maybe they- Wait, no. that, that one's about to die! Go God, save her! They won't let me! Shh. She's about to die! I'm trying! Oh, no. Annette died. Wow, the stakes in this game just got higher. <laughs> Good game! <laughs> that sucks. I was really trying. And that was like... one of like the two women we had, too. Why couldn't it have been one of the men? I don't know. Say goodbye to your dead brothers by interacting with them? Well, this is sad. Oh, no. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't remember this being a feature in the game. Like, maybe my assassins just didn't die when I played. Where is they're, she? They're right there. Oh. Close eyes. Oh, you can close the eyes? After you steal the weapon? Trying to. And then you pick up the body. <laughs> it didn't let me close the eyes. What the heck? So when you try closing the eyes, it just picked up the body? Yes. And now you can't close the eyes at all? No. Okay. You're gonna die for what you did. This is a John Walker moment. <laughs> That really was it a really job was, off yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, before we let's let's take this out. Yeah. This was not worth it. No. We lost a recruit. And a woman recruit too. So maybe we should level up our recruits before using them in battle. That makes a lot of sense. Does it actually or are you mean? Well be so be so before we use What the heck? <laughs> you want some miso soup? What is going on uh, here? Uh please. Okay. Miso maybe horny soup. maybe before get. we allow them to attack Borgia Towers, because these seem to be heavily armed, is what I was trying to say. I agree. And then I had like a uh, moment. Gamer moment. I had a moment. You're like, oh, 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 oh N word! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I read an article today about how all gamers use the N word, so I just needed to. Well, hey, you are a gamer, right? Yeah. So you get the pass. You can say the N-word. Cool! According to this person. Cool! That's all I care about in life, is saying this arbitrary word. Nice. Ah, oh, man. I wish every race had a kryptonite word. What would be, like, the white person kryptonite word? It would probably be, like, welfare. <laughs> <laughs> That's the N-word to white people. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> racist. No, it's not. I'm saying they get mad about welfare all the time. Oh, I thought you were saying that white people were rich enough to not have to be on it, unlike other people. Why'd you even think of that? Jill, maybe you're the racist. I didn't say that at all. <laughs> maybe I am. <laughs> okay, an empty building. Well, I thought maybe you're saying that white people weren't as poor and pathetic as other races. Yeah, what is going on? Like, okay. Do you want thieves? Let's do courtesans. Courtesans? Out yeah. here? I mean, we can have... These people need women, too. That's right. I'm sorry. You're right. That was stupid of me. Why did, why did, why did I say that? Dumb. I don't know. That's what I'm wondering here. So I was hitting myself. I was punishing myself. Got it. How come I didn't do it? Uh, didn't it? No, because look, it's look, it is. Oh, it is? Okay. It's just you can change it. Oh, I see. Okay. Got it. Okay, let's try the Lair of Romulus. <laughs> Sorry, I just heard them all doing that. So made you want to do it? This is a man. We killed like our only, the only two women assassins in the whole game. I didn't kill them. We did. What do you mean we? We as a society did. As a society? Okay, got it. <laughs> if this was Elden Ring, you would have died from that jump. That makes sense. That's, That's actually true. true. <sighs> Too bad we quit Elden Ring because Nate hates it. I hate Elden Ring. I'm fine with Elden Ring. I like it. No, you hated the Let's Play. You I said like, it was terrible. I like Elden Ring. You said it was horrible. I like it. 
You literally hated it. Okay. You wanted to kill the creators of it. Well, you're not wrong there. You told me that you were going to personally extinguish everyone in Hiroshima, and then it happened to be that I read about Hiroshima ha happening after that. So I'm thinking that maybe you went back in time and you were like, hey, Truman. <laughs> not a fan of that city. And then all of a sudden, you know. So, uh, back to Assassin's Creed. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, What's your favorite location in the U.S.? Would it be Pearl Harbor? <laughs> Wouldn't it make more sense for him to extinguish the city that that Miyazaki guy was from and George R. R. Martin was from? Well, let, what? wait, why were George R. R. Martin and Miyazaki from the same city? <laughs> wait, no. Because they both made Elden Ring. So they're from the same city by default? <laughs> what does yeah. that even mean? Well, this is sad. Look at this. Well, this I guy... thought you'd want to get rid of him. Okay, Jill, shut up. This guy <laughs> fell in here and he was like chained up. Yeah. That's what happens in prisons. But it's not a prison, it's the... Um, These are catacombs? Yeah. Well, that's what happens in catacombs. Interesting. Also, I like the idea that anyone that collabs on any project are instantly born in the same city. <laughs> like... <laughs> that's how it works. Did you know that Team Silent, who made the original <laughs> Silent Hill, they were actually orphans kidnapped by Konami oh. and then raised to create Silent Hill. Epic. It's pretty cool. Nice. I also love in the original Avengers when you had the first team up, Robert Downey Jr. and all the other Avengers were instantly from the same city. That's true. I love it. What if everybody who had a name, they had that attribute? So like Scarlett Johansson was Scarlett, like her skin. Right. Or like... um. I don't, Chris no, Evans. I don't, don't go on to Robert Chris Downey Evans, Jr. Chris Evans multiple people. <laughs> Do not go well, on to Chris Downey and Jr. And like Robert, Robert Downey, Downey Jr. <laughs> was actually young. Robert Downey Jr. Right. So yeah. he was young. Yeah. You know? Right. <laughs> what would I be? Short. <laughs> oh, okay, but well, that's not my name. Yeah, but like your your previous name was well, short. with that. Okay. What would... um? Wait, I'm already short. Uh oh, <laughs> so it works out. Uh -huh. There you go. Proves our point. <laughs>